Hi everyone, Michael Rubenfeld here. How are you doing? Uh, I just want to thanks, thank you all uh, for for you know being so supportive. Um, it's it's really meant a lot to me. I've got over five thousand uh, followers uh, now, subscribers, right? Subscribers, they're called here on YouTube. And that's cool. Oh, when I first started uh, on on social media, I. I didn't know if people would be interested in what I had to say, and it's cool um, to have uh, interest. Um, and I appreciate how thoughtful people are, uh, too, in, in their responses. I do have also a, a TikTok account, and, oh, that's like the Wild West uh, or Wild East. I don't know. It's wild uh, out, out there on TikTok, I, I got to tell you. But uh, I sort of feel like uh, YouTube is becoming my home. And I appreciate all the people who, um, you know, who follow me and comment. And I feel like we're, I'm in this like long term conversation with you in a way, which is really cool. And I'm really enjoying doing it. Uh, I did start a, a Patreon account uh, and a few people have signed up already. Thank you so much, which is really uh, super helpful. Uh, I put a lot of energy into these videos, as you probably can imagine. And... Uh, Patreon is just basically um, there uh, if you'd like to support me and be able to do this because uh, it's it's a lot of work and uh, I basically do it for for free for now um, so any little bit a uh, little bit helps the link is down in the bio and uh, what I wanted to basically to talk about today is something interesting something interesting happened uh, to me. Uh, today, I was invited to participate in a television show about foreigners. Somebody wants to do uh, uh, an episode of a of a television series about foreigners. On uh, it's it's going to be on uh, Tefal Pe. And I'm bringing this up because I I felt so conflicted by the request because it was this reminder uh, of my of my foreignness and of course i i know uh, that i'm foreign a foreigner is only foreign uh outside of their uh of their of their country out of their out of their native uh, habitat i think probably uh, living in say america or the uk I would feel less foreign. I would be limited just to my my accent, and of course, you know, in Canada for most of my life, I was not a foreigner. In Poland, because of its uh, homogeneity, and because of language, and some people would say because of my look, but I mean, do I really look that different than that many? Uh, Polish people, if I like shaved off my my beard, I don't know. Maybe I'm more bearded are hairier than most Polish people. I, I'm not sure. But uh, I am, you know, I'm really, I'm really uh, put into the category of, of, of foreigner by, by, by other people. And it's, it's natural. It's not something that I, mm, I, I do, that I don't understand. I understand it, uh, particularly in Poland. But it's, it's interesting to be uh, perceived as such a foreigner. And I, I think it's, you know, also, you know, there's just like not a lot of, uh, of course there's, there's foreigners in Poland, but growing up in Canada, I'm just so used to foreigners that people's foreignness is not what is, is interesting uh, about them, or it's not interesting just because it's so normalized. Uh, you know, foreignness is almost like the definition of what Canada is because it's such a young country and almost everyone from, from Canada is from somewhere else and can track their roots elsewhere except for indigenous people who are uh, indigenous to, to Canada. Or let's say they're as indigenous to Canada as Polish people are to Poland, if that makes, if that, if that makes a good comparison. Poland has been Polish people for so long that um, that you know, 
anyone who's not Polish is, you know, feels rather foreign because there's such a long history of Polishness in Poland. And now the interesting thing is, of course, is that although I'm a, a foreigner, uh, of course, my family are, are Polish and are from here. So my passport is a Polish passport. I have a Canadian and a Polish passport. I got my Polish passport through my 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 grandfather, who's deceased, but I was able to prove his Polish citizenship. And I uh, received a passport because I was able to prove that I was already Polish. So this was interesting. And, and I really wanted to do this. And I wanted to m m make a clear differentiation be between like becoming Polish versus proving that I'd always been Polish. And all I got was a one page letter in the mail. Once I was able to prove everything, prove my Polish lineage that just uh, said, basically, Michael Rubenfeld has been Polish since birth. So I've always been Polish uh, according to Polish law. But because I grew up in Canada uh, and I, you know, moved back here, I wasn't taught Polish. And I am, you know, a Polish Jew. And we all know what happened to the Jews. So I'm, you know, I'm back here in my, my native land. But being uh, contextualized, being framed as a foreigner. And I really appreciate how many people uh, like to tell me how welcome and included I am and that I'm Polish, or I'm becoming Polish, itak dalej, right? It's funny, I really like saying itak dalej, and sometimes I say it in, in inappropriate situations where people don't speak Polish, so they have no idea what I'm saying, but it, start, it sounds better than etc., etc. Każdym razie, in one sense, you know, being invited uh, being chosen to be on this on this television series, I haven't accepted it yet. I don't even know if they'll still want me. It just like I got an email and an invitation. I don't know if it'll work out, but it was still flattering to be invited. And of course, I like the fact that it will give me some exposure for my social media. Maybe they found me on social media. I'm not sure. But on the other hand, I was like, right. I think that as long as I'm in Poland, I will always be perceived as a foreigner. And I wonder how I feel about that. I wonder if I want to always be a foreigner. I have a very good friend who moved to Poland mm, 25 plus years ago, and he's a translator from uh, Polish to English. He's totally bilingual, but he has an, uh, a Canadian accent. And you can, you can tell that he's not from here. And, and he's, he, 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 he continues to be perceived as a, a foreigner. I won a theater award last year. And at first I was sort of surprised by it. And I thought, I don't think I was the best person uh, in this show. It was for acting. And I think later I realized it was probably an award given to me because I'm a foreigner acting in Polish. And it's not, you know, it's not stated in the award, but it was me and like a Ukrainian, a Ukrainian woman or Ukrainian actress. And we were the two who got awards. So I, I feel like it was a kind of like, good job, pat you on the back. You've, you're really going, you're really doing it, foreigners award. Uh, and I felt funny about it. I was thrilled uh, to get it. Don't get me wrong. I was thrilled to get it. And I'm thrilled that I've got this sort of interesting niche here in Poland. I'm the foreign Jewish guy. And, you know, the, 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 the Jewishness, my Jewishness is something that I am pretty public about. And that's fine. But, yeah, I just uh, also, it also, you know, a part of me, it, a part of me it feels a little bit like, oh, so will I ever fit in? Am I just going to kind of be an outsider for my entire life? life here? Is that the life that I've chosen? That of the outsider? And I am a Jew, so Jews, you know, technically are outsiders unless they move to Israel, but I don't want to do that. I want to move to Poland. I want to live in Poland. How do I feel about being an outsider? Uh, you know, and is there a pathway forward towards not being an outsider, not feeling like an outsider here? I'm not 
I'm not sure that there is. I'm not sure that there is. Uh, and, you know, I'm making the best of it. I'm making the best of it, you know. I'm the outsider in the Polish theater right now. But uh, that wasn't my experience in life until moving to Poland. I was never an outsider. Well, you know, kind of an outsider. I wasn't like a mainstream type of person, but it, I wasn't foreign. And now I am. Uh, anyways, that's, that's all for now. Thanks uh, for supporting this foreign man. And remember, if you want to really support me even, even more, a little bit more, you can join my Patreon. You can become a member. It's like 20 zloty a month or something like that. And I do things just for members. And we can chat more. And, you know, if you want more of me on a daily basis, you want to ask me questions, you know, you can. And I keep people up to date on, like, things that are happening in my life. And maybe I'll do a meet and greet or something or something or something fun like that. But join the Patreon because it's fun. Right? Right, Patreon members? All five of you. So far, there's five of you. But that's great. It's cool. But I'd love to get some more. Anyways, uh, from one foreigner to you. From this foreigner to you. That's all I've got to say. And thanks a lot. I love you. And uh, do zobaczenia.